from Florida to Pennsylvania, okay? Very important there. And again, on different levels, okay? Yes, watching Fetterman odd, Oz have to. Why? Because the balance of the Senate is going to be delicate and come down to a couple of races, all right? But also, how is a Fetterman doing versus the gubernatorial candidate? You know, how is he comparing to Shapiro? What is that like? Is he up? Uh, doing as well. He wasn't early on. Let's go to Dennis Owens, okay? Uh, with News Nation affiliate WHTM, uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. You may recognize him. Very good job at a debate that made such a difference in that race, just in terms of feel. Maybe not so much in the polls, but it's great to have you right now. Uh, how's it going there on the local level? Well, welcome to the state with the only undefeated NFL team, by the way, the Philadelphia oh, Eagles. Oh, boy. <laughs> Although I got to tell you, um, I'm a fan of Jalen Hurts. Uh, it, it's, Absolutely. It, he's fun to watch, like to see a guy who struggled in the beginning, find a system that works for him. Team comes together. I've had a lot of good times uh, in Philly, so I wish you well. And he's the son of a football coach, too, so he learns well. True, true. But as for Pennsylvania, it's very interesting. I'm envious of Florida, where you're putting check marks on things at 8.02. It could be 8.02 three days from now before we actually have results in our election. We've got um, mail-in ballots that could be counted for quite some time, and we're anticipating uh, a close election. We always knew it was going to be close. You know, Pat Toomey, the retiring Republican in the U.S. Senate, uh, his first election he won by 1.5. His second election he won by two points. It's kind of a built-in close race in purple Pennsylvania. You're talking about Florida going red. Pennsylvania is very clearly purple. You just mentioned the governor's race, Josh Shapiro, who's the attorney general, going against a sitting senator endorsed, a state senator, endorsed by Do um, Donald Trump. His name is Doug Mastriano. The polls have showed a big lead for Shapiro. Some people suggesting today that if a lot of people turn out for Shapiro, that certainly could help Fetterman. Fetterman had a double-digit lead uh, in the summertime, was taking snarky shots at, at Mehmet Oz, who said he had crudite, and he would fly, which a lot of people, you know the geography here, Chris, but uh, he flew a banner over the Jersey Shore in the middle of the summer, saying, hey, Mehmet Oz, come back home to New Jersey. You don't have any business in Pennsylvania. So it was very funny, very amusing to watch. But then as a Labor Day hit and people started to focus on the issues, um, Mehmet Oz started to hit John Fetterman uh, on crime. Uh, and those polls started to narrow. The debate you just mentioned a moment ago, they tightened even more. And a next star poll uh, that we did uh, just on Friday was the first one I have seen in which Mehmet Oz was up three. But again, it's going to be very, very close. They've got to count every mail in. Remember, the uh, primary, Oz defeated a fellow named Dave McCormick by only nine hundred votes right. uh, in the primary. So this one could be close and take a while until we actually have some winners. And just to uh, let the audience in on kind of uh, the, the, the kind of way it works within the state, what is it in terms of the rules uh, that will extend it? Is that the absentees aren't all in yet? Is there a date that's relevant? Well, what should they know? Well, what they should know is, uh, because of the way our law is written, those mail-in ballots cannot even be what's called pre canvas That is, you open the envelope, make sure the person is the right person, has the signature, you flatten them out and get ready to put them in the machine. They can't even start that until 7 o'clock this morning on Election Day. So that means county election officials are really running two elections on Election Day. they got a whole team putting those things in. And there was 1.4 million of them, by the way. Uh, and then, they, then they're running the in-person election. So uh, it was, it's a relatively new law. Uh, and, and so we're still working out the bugs on it. And now there was a wrinkle, last-minute wrinkle. Of course, Pennsylvania has the chance that we're going to be in the spotlight again. Uh, but last week, the state Supreme Court said if those mail-in ballots, the outer envelope does not have a date. It needs to be signed and dated or it does not count. Um, the law says that. The governor came out this last week and said we'd like counties to inform people about those undated mail-ins and they can come fix them. So we still got some, uh, we got some issues here in Pennsylvania. Fetterman Chris. wants to sue on that basis, but the law was pretty clear and it just had your high court uh, go through it. So it's an interest. They, they can sue. doesn't mean that the appeal is going to go anywhere. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.